Hey, what's the deal, man? It's your boy Alex here, man. So, it has been about a week or so since I have uploaded. And I'm here to own someone who I referenced in my last video. About the entire server on Discord being owned. It's this dude. His name is Tech Wiz. If by Tech Wiz he means Technology Wiz, I highly doubt it. Because this dude isn't very bright. So, what he did was he popped into my um, Discord profile, right? Into my messages, right? And he's talking about my three unanswerable um, abortion questions. Loved them. And he said, hey, I posted it on Quora. It's a website for your information. I said, oh, okay, cool. And he's like, here's the link. You can go take a look. Well, I looked at the link. Ah, damn. All right. The link said, I came across a question asked on another form and I spent time answering it. I thought that it would post my answer on, I thought that I would post my answer on Quora, so here it goes. And he says who it was from, when it was made, and he just goes down and he talks about, you know, what he said, what I said, and, um... I'm going to talk about what he did. First and foremost, to address something that I addressed to him in my response. Um, I, loved, I love how he, how he mentions religion for half of his argument, which just has nothing to do with anything at all. Um, he says, um, he starts with question one. Ah, sorry, this... This brightness is killing me on my computer screen. Damn. Question number one. For a question to be valid and answerable, it needs to be asked in the correct manner. It must use the correct words which describe things correctly. Your question is using the wrong description. You are using the words, quote, young person, which means you are already answering your own question. And I already said, if you watched the debate, you could already see I messed that up, you know, it's, I didn't know what to call it, so I just called it a young person at the time. Actually, it's called Fetus. And he basically goes into that, um, saying how, you know, I'm answering my own question, how, you know, my question is unfair, um, which clearly shows that he just did not see the whole debate for himself at all. Um... He talks about how my documents example was very ironic and how, you know, it's not equivalent to the topic. Well, what am I going to give that's equivalent? You know, I mean, if you have to give an example for something, you know, you give an example, you use something else. You know, I mean, yeah, you're right. Technically, what I'm saying is not the same thing. But what else am I going to say? I mean, it has to be. Something different because it's the only thing that sticks. For the and for the next question, at first he says that um, and I'll quote him here. He puts in quotes: "There doesn't seem to be any evidence of a female having a kid because a man forced his way with her." Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. So that quote, right? That's him basically talking about my position. And that was my position. And I admitted in, in, in you know the last video that I did mess up on that one. And I did mess up and I eventually was um, given evidence that uh, my question, frankly, could be proven. Um, and that's nice. So he's doing what, you know, the last um, girl did or whatever. Um, which is, I mean, that's that's just like whatever. Um, and then for question number three, he says, uh, what does he say again? If I understand you correctly, you are wondering 
why when it comes to different issues that involve life or death, a person can have different opinions. I could point out one such example on the quote-unquote conservative side. Statistics show that people who are anti-abortion are very often pro-death penalty. This would seem to be dissonant. Or another example, why it why is it that recently people who think... You said that wrong. You should have said think, like with your brain. Who think parents should have absolute say over what their kids learn in the classroom seem to be saying people who support government control over what parents of gender dissident children are allowed to permit for their children this makes no sense if you trust blah 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 and he talks about why how that is another type of example for what i'm for what i'm saying and i'm like huh so my whole thing about the contradiction and my question three well what originally is question number five before that that discord server i sent it to that was question out of number five was turned into question number three because it was a progressive server and four questions number four and five just wouldn't fit for that server so I had to skip those use them another day you get the idea so he says that um this is a contradiction and you know all the rest and I'll admit it doesn't make any sense so at first I'm like huh so this soon, this dude seems to be admitting what I thought was true. He didn't. At first, I thought that's what he was saying, but then he tries to answer the question, right? And um, this is what he says: the answer to your question is simple. It all depends on what people agree with or not. It depends on their personality, blah, blah, blah. People who are quote-unquote more conservative lean this way. People who are more quote-unquote more liberal lean, lean this way. So in general, if I'm more conservative... Blah, 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 blah. I mean, he just goes on and on and on and says, you know, how there's a lot of religion involved and a lot of people, you know, think this because of, you know, God reasons and all that and, you know... And he pretty much go in pretty much almost thought pretty much the whole rest of after that is just nothing more than a lot of people believe that because of God and because of religion and all that, which say whatever you want about why a lot of people are, you know, like that. You know, why a lot of people have religion as their reference, but um we're talking about abortion. You know, what we're, we're not talking about what God thinks or God doesn't want you know, God's judgment. I mean, this has nothing to do with that. So, all in all, the dude really couldn't answer any of my questions except for question number two, which was already answered. Um, and I go back to my response. Here's my response. I said, um, blah, blah, blah. I know that you messed up. Um, shit, that's the wrong thing. I'm sorry. That was to someone else. All right, here's my response to him. So I go down the line, I said, yo, man, you know, I let I read your response. Let me respond to you right here and there, right? I mean, right here, because this was at the time. So I said how, hey, you know, the first one, um, that, that was already clarified, you know, my wording wasn't the best, um, but you're really only countering the wording part of it. You're not countering the main argument itself. Um, you know, question number two, you know, I had already retracted. I explained all that to him. Then when I got down to question three, I told him straight up, hey man, God ain't got nothing to do with this. Allah ain't got nothing to do with this. No religion or gods have anything to do with this debate. And um, I don't know why you're mentioning that because it just has nothing to do with anything. So I told him that on Discord, I responded. That was on the night of the 21st of November. Um... And he has not responded to me since. So Tacoys has been completely and utterly owned. Um, he could not defeat any of my questions. He couldn't defeat my argument. He couldn't prove why I was wrong. And that the whole thing was just nonsense. And I wasn't making any sense. Or any other stuff that anyone has told me in the past about this argument. Um, and for anyone who thinks that this is all fake. And that it didn't happen. Um... I will, if you want me to, you can ask in the comments section and I will put a link 
um, to what he said to me and to what I said to him back if you would like to take a peek. Because I'm being very honest here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how the debate went. So, Tech Wiz, welcome to my secret sex dungeon. Now, I mean, you're like, you know what you did. You know exactly how you came at me with this, you know, saying, oh, listen, here's my very elaborate argument about why you are incorrect. And you failed. You tried your best, and it was horrible. So, anyways, this is your boy Alex. I'm signing out. See ya.